Onis, one of, if not the most popular creature amongst the yokai of Japanese mythology. These supernatural beings, complex multifaceted threat, the thin line between malevolence and kindness. Though common discourse about the Oni would lead you to believe that we are all bad. That couldn't be further from the truth, they say varied in appearance. Origins, personality and purpose. Their tales, as ancient as the land itself, serve as a mirror to the human soul, reflecting our deepest fears and highest aspirations, and illustrating the perpetual dance between the forces of light and darkness. The origins of the Oni were not linked to a singular event or deity. The Oni came into existence for countless reasons, sometimes by the will of the gods. These origins can be divided into four different categories. Transformed humans, heavenly punishers, underworld, and other. Transformed humans. The journey to becoming an Oni through the transformation of humans, often esteemed from an intense and overwhelming emotional turmoil. In these transformation intense feelings of love, betrayal, or vengeance catalyze a change mutinying the human soul into something otherworldly. Consider the heart, wretching story of a woman wronged and abandoned by her lover, consumed by a millstorm of heartbreak and fury, her spirit curled it into vengeance, morphing her into a fierce ammoni. She roamed the earth as a spectral persons, on the wind hunting the weary path her betrayer walked. Heavenly punishers, above the realm of mortals, some only emerged to serve celestial purpose, executing the decrees of the gods. These Oni were the agents of retribution and divine justice, tasked with mentioning the balancing order. Among these tales is the story of Raijin, the formidable thunder god, who employs Oni to beat the drums of thunder. These celestial drummers send down to fear some peals of thunder during the storms, not just as displays of divine might, but as punishment for the wicked serving as a stark reminder to mortal of the unpointment power of the gods and the price of wickedness. Underworld Descending into the shadowy depths of the underworld, we encounter Oni of a darker nature. These Oni emerge to serve the dark forces that groven the afterlife. They fulfill rules of judgment and punishment, acting as the executors of the afterlife's ruler. The punishments involved, crushing bones, peeling off a skin, and many other torments too horrible to describe. And Mario, the fearsome ruler of the dead, commands legions of Oni, who act as jailers and tortures in the hellish depths, meeting out punishment to the souls of the damned. Oni can also be seen in the story of Izanagi and Izanami. Izanagi ventures into the underworld to see Izanami, following her death. After a series of mixed emotions, Izanami sent Oni and as well as dark forces after Izanagi until the entrance to the underworld was ultimately sealed. The existence of these Oni serve as grim reminders of the consequences awaiting those who lead lives of malice and wrongdoing. 
other. Someone traced their origins to the natural world or the result of mystical intervention, transcending human or divine origins. These entities embody the primal aspects of the world from the untamed forces that shaped the land. The folklore is rich with stories of animals or even elements of nature, cursed or blessed by mystical forces, undergoing transformation into Oni. These beings bridge the gap between the natural and the supernatural, embodying the fears and wonders of the natural world and its inacceptable connection to the spiritual realm. Through these origins, the Oni emerge not just as simple monsters or demons, but as complex entities embodying the fears, desires and untamed aspects of nature elements and humanity alike. Examples of this could be the aftermath of a massacre or natural disaster. These stories passed down through generations continue to captivate an intergi of offering a window into the soul of Japanese culture and its enduring fascination with the world beyond the whale. In the realm of Japanese mythology, Oni are as varied in appearance as the stories that birth them. These creatures embody the essence of the supernatural manifesting in a spectrum of appearances that ranged from the intimidating, towering, the homeless, to those who walk among men, each revealing a different face of their fearsome nature. It's important to note that only males were called Oni. Females were called Kijo or Onibaba, depending on their age, but we will stick with just Oni for the purpose of this video. The Towering Oni These Towering Oni are typically what you would think of when you hear the term of Oni. They are the most common looking Oni and can be classified as demons, devils, ogres, or even trolls. Imagine, beings of immense stature, their muscles bludging skin, drawn with the colors of the earth and the sky, reds, blues, and sometimes even greens. In some cases, horns produced from their foreheads as hallmark of their demonic heritage, while their smiles revealed razor-sharp fangs that hint at their ferocity. Among these titans, Shoten Doji stands as a legend, a terror to the old capital of Kyoto, with his band of demonic followers, until his reign of terror was ended by the bravery of Minamoto no Yoritsu and his companions. The humanoid Oni, contrasting with their gigantic counterparts, some walked in the appearances closely, mirroring that of humans blending seamlessly into society. They possessed unusual features, such as extra eyes that pierce through the wails of deception, skin of unnatural colors, or the presence of small horns that marked their true nature. These kinds of Oni were typically unnamed and existed as archetypical narratives rather than detailed individualized stories. Some examples of these types of Oni would be a beautiful woman with small horns on her head or an elderly sage with an extra eye. However, it is possible that these Oni were simply using their shape-shifting abilities to discuss themselves. The powers of the Oni are as diverse as their appearances. Each ability was a reflection of their dominion over the natural 
and supernatural realms. Oni could possess one or even all of the following powers. Strength The legendary strength of the Oni is a common thread in tales of their exploits. Capable of beats that defy explanation, they can uproot trees as easily as one might pick a flower and crush stones to dust in their fists. This raw physical power instills fear and awe in all who witness it. Shapeshifting As mentioned before, the Oni possessed the ability to lose shapeshifting. It was among the most cunning of their abilities, allowing Oni to assume any form, whether transforming into a fearsome beast to intimidate their foes, or taking on a beguiling appearances to deceive their mastery of this art is unparalleled. This power makes them formidable adversaries as they can infiltrate and manipulate human society with ease. Controlling the elements Oni possess the ability to wield the forces of nature as weapons, conjuring the storms, calling forth bolts of lightning, or summoning flames at will they demonstrate their control over the elements. This power is often used to devastating effect, laying waste to the fields and homes of those who earn their eye. Illusions Illusions are another tool in their arsenal creating visions that confuse and entrap the unwary. These phantasmal images can lead a person astray or conceal the Oni's true nature making them as elusive as they are dangerous. Regeneration and Summoning The resilience of the Oni is legendary with wounds healing in moments, making them nearly invisible foes. Furthermore, their ability to summon other creatures, whether spirits, lesser demons, and Oni or animals, to do their biting ads to their formidable nature, allowing them to command forces that overwhelm even the bravest of warriors. The Oni emerged not just as a creature of myth, but a symbol of the natural and supernatural forces that shape our world. However, they were not invisible. The Oni possessed a multitude of weaknesses. Iron, and steel. In many stories, Oni are depicted as being vulnerable to weapons made of iron or steel. This is a common theme in folklore around the world, where supernatural beings are often susceptible to certain materials. For Oni, samurai swords, which are made of steel, and other iron implements can cause them harm, or even defeat them. Beams Perhaps, one of the most famous weaknesses of Oni is their aversion to beams, particularly soy beams. During the Setsubun festival, which marks the beginning of spring in Japan, it is a tradition to throw roasted soybeans outside one's home or at a person wearing an Oni mask while shouting Oni wo soto fuku wa ochi, which roughly translate to devil's out for chun in this practice is believed to drive away evil spirits and bring good luck. A reason behind this weakness is not entirely clear, but it is deeply rooted in Japanese culture. One speculation is that the word being in Japanese, which is Mame, is also a homophone for destroying evil. Religious or sacred objects Oni are often repelled by objects of religious or spiritual significance. 
This can include Buddhist prayer, beads shinoto, talismans, or holy sutras. These items are thought to embody purity and righteousness, which can banish or weaken Oni and other malevolent spirits. Names and True Names In some tales, knowing the true name of an Oni gives one power over it. This concept is common in myths and folklore around the world where knowing creatures' true name grants the knower control or significant advantage over the creature by invoking the true name one can command or banish the Oni. Alcohol While not universally seen as a weakness, there are stories where Oni's foulness for sake turn against them. In the legend of Shuten Doji, the titular Oni and his band are given drug sake by warriors which makes them drunk and vulnerable. To attack this suggests that indulgence and lack of self-control can be exploited as weaknesses. Sunlight In certain legends, Oni much like other creatures of darkness are weakened or avoid sunlight. This ties into the border theme of light overcoming darkness with the light of the sun representing purity and the Oni's malevolent nature being a key to shadows that flee before it. Moral Righteousness and Virtuous Behavior Oni are sometimes depicted as being repelled or defeated by acts of moral courage, righteousness and virtuous behavior. This is a common motif in folklore where the purity of heart and noble intentions can protect individuals from harm and even turn evil to good. Oni exhibit a spectrum of behaviors that range from the malevolently destructive to the unexpectedly protective painting a complex picture of these mythical beings. These Oni also embody a depth of character that mirrors the complexity of human emotions and motivations. Acting from a spectrum of desires and fears they represent the gray areas of morality, where actions are driven by a mix of good intentions personal grievances, and the pursuit of their own goals. Malevolent At one end of the spectrum, we encounter the malevolent Oni, creatures of pure malice, whose stories are detected in legends for their deeds of destruction and terror. The creatures showcase their capacity of unleashing chaos upon humans, in the world, such beings are often the embodiment of the challenge, is a hero's face representing the obstacles to be overcome through courage and strength. Mischievous Contrasting sharply with their malevolent counterparts, some only reveal in mischief and trickery rather than outright destruction. Dwelling in the frosted mountains, they play pranks on arrogant monks and samurai, using their supernatural abilities to humble those who boast of their strength and piety. Yet, their actions are often carry deeper lessons about humanity and respect for the natural world illustrating the complex moral dimensions of these creatures. Guardians Among the many roles that unplayed a few were ventured, as protectors in certain shrines and temples, fierce Oni statues stood guard in their intimidating forms, believed to ward off evil spirits and protect the sacred pristines from malevolent forces turning their formidable strength 
towards the preservation of peace and safety. This guardian aspect effect highlights a protective quality, suggestion that power even when fearsome can be a force for good. Seasonal The Oni also play pivotal roles in cultural rituals and celebrations, embodying the cycle of renewal and the explosion of misfortune. The Setsubin Festival, as mentioned before, is a celebration marking the change of seasons, features Oni in a unique role tied to rituals and festivities. During Setsubun, people threw roasted soybeans out of their homes, shouting Oni was Sutu Fukuwauchi, roughly translated to Devil's Out for Chon. This practice reflects the belief in Oni as bearers of misfortune and hardship, which can be driven away with the right rituals to welcome a purpose and happy new year. Other There are many other lesser known behaviors attribute to the Oni that don't fit into the categories mentioned. Some stories talk about the Oni going through transformation and redemption. These stories suggest that even beings of darkness have the potential for change influence by teachings of compassion or acts of kindness. Such narratives underscore the beliefs in the possibility of redemption, offering the path from darkness to light. The stories of Oni and Japanese folklore reveal their vast and varied nature, from fearsome adversaries to beings of deep emotion. These tales the breath of a human experience, reflecting our deepest fears and highest hopes. Let us briefly go through some of the most well-known stories involving the Oni. These stories may be retold in greater detail in later episodes. Momotaro In an ancient tranquil world, an extraordinary boy named Momotaro, stood center stage. He emerged from a giant peach and was discovered by an elderly couple longing for a child. Momotaro, whose name means peach boy, grows into a brave and kind-hearted young man, determined to challenge the malevolent band of Oni that terrorized their realm. Arn with millet dumplings gifted by his adoptive parents, he embarks on a journey, gathering loyal companions. A dog, a monkey, and a pheasant, each owned over by his generosity and courage. Together, they venture to the Oni Island called Oni Gushima, comforting and defeating demons in the grand battle of bravery, friendship, and the triumph of good over evil. Momotaro's story, celebrated in countless retellings, remains the beacon of hope and valor, inspiring all to stand against the darkness. Shuten Doji Shuten Doji, the demon king of Mount Oe epitomized the terror that Oni can imbibe. He was one of the legendary Oni in Japanese mythology and is mentioned as one of the three great evil yokai of Japan. Along with Otokamaru and Tamama no Mei, leading a band of demons, he kidnaps maidens from Kyoto, indulging in unspeakable horrors. In turn, Minamoto no Yurimitsu, known as Reiko, and his four valiant lieutenants. Disguised as mountain aesthetics, they infiltrate Shoten Doji's lair, armed with enchanted sake, in a cunning blend of bravery and strategy. They intoxicate the demon, enabling his defeat. 
Otakamaru. Otakamaru is another one of the legend bar in Oni Japanese mythology. Though, his story is not as widely recognized as some others, he is mentioned as one of the three great evil yokai of Japan, along with Shoten Doji and Tamama no Mei. Otakamaru's narrative might vary across different sources, but he is typically portrayed as a powerful Oni, who was the enemy to the Shogun, Takanai no Tamuramaru. Otakamaru terrorized the people and travelers in the Suzuka Mountains. He challenged heroes and even confronted the gods themselves. Otakamaru used his back magic to summon a great storm and convert the mountains in rain, lightning, and black clouds, making it impossible to see. For even long years, Tamuramaru and his men roamed the mountains in search of Otokamaru but could not catch him. During this time, Otokamaru also tried to court a beautiful goddess named Suzuka Gozen, but his advances were denied each time. Ultimately, Tamuramaru and Otokamaru clashed the Shogun's army against the Oni's horde. This battle ended with Otokamaru's death by the blade of Tamuramaru. To add insult to injury, Tamuramaru marries the goddess Suzuka Gozen at the end of the story. These stories each paint the Oni in shades of grey. They were monsters, yes, but also beings of emotion and complexity. Through the bravery of Momotaru, the cunning defeat of Shuten Doji, and the battle of Otokamaru, the tales of the Oni continue to fascinate us, offering a window into the human condition. From the forest-kissed mountains of Hokkaido to the sun-soaked shores of Okinawa, the Oni of Japanese folklore adapted and transformed, depending on the diverse landscapes and cultures of Japan. Each rain tells its own stories, painting Oni in every shade of fear and wonder, from terrifying beasts to benevolent protectors. In the cold old north of Hokkaido, tales of Oni evoked the harshness of the winter and the resilience required to survive it. Their Samoni were seen as spirits of the snow and ice, formidable yet integral to the natural world, reminding people of the strength found in unity and war in the face of beating cold. Moving to the main island of Hanushu, the heartland of Japan, the Oni take on a more varied persona. In the bustling cities and serene countryside, tales of Oni intertwine with Japan's historical and cultural milestones. From the samurai battling demonic forces to the protective Oni guarding sacred temples, Venusho's legends reflect the complexities of human life, where mortality is often a spectrum rather than a clear divide. On the island of Shikoku, with its famous pilgrimage of 88 temples, and are woven into the fabric of a spiritual journey and transformation. Here only are not just obstacles to be overcome. They are also teachers challenging pilgrimages to look within and comfort their own inner demons on the path to enlightenment. Kyushi, with its active volcanoes and vibrant hot springs, portrays Oni with a fiery temperament, mirroring the dynamic and powerful forces of nature. These Oni are unpredictable 
as the earth itself, capable of both creation and destruction, reminding us of the fine balance that governs the natural world. In the tropical paradise of Okinawa, Oni blend with the local folklore, adopting characteristics unique to the island's history and beliefs. Here, they might be seen as guardians of the natural world, embodying the spirit of both land and sea, and teaching the importance of living in harmony with nature. Across the vast expanse of Japan, Oni serve as a mirror, reflecting humanity's deepest fears, desires and values. They remind us of the balance between chaos and order, darkness and light, teaching lessons that resonates beyond the boundaries of folklore into the heart of human experience. Through the stories of Oni, we are all invited on a journey of self-discovery, challenged to confront our own demons and embrace the light. In the clash between humanity and the supernatural Oni, stand the symbol of good, evil, and everything in between. Thanks for being with me so far. I hope you enjoyed watching this tale. And please, don't forget to like and subscribe, because that will makes me happy and will release my fatigue. Farewell until the next day.